Hello, hello. So let me change my command. Yeah, if you missed the previous sync V2, now it's your time. To watch this one. Okay, so the build tonight. Ah, uh, yeah, the chat box. Let me try again. Okay, yes. Thank you for the follow. Glow zero zero three. Let me see if I can enable the other device. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So tonight I'm going to build this keyboard for my girlfriend, and it's basically. The similar one that I built last week, but in different colorway. And actually, I already milmaxed this PCB over the weekend, so I can build this one faster. So let's do the unboxing first. So the keyboard itself is a white top and black bottom. Think. 6.5 v2 with the 2u batch and I will probably change the batch to another one afterwards so it's the very classic one yeah this is more for my girlfriend cannot beat one Okay, so basically what we are doing tonight is build this keyboard with the penguin switch. And let's take the tools out. So basically the toolbox has a lot of separate tools. Uh, and the first one is the batch. So that's the batch we are going to use. And we have the light bulb. Yeah, Penguin is a good switch 
to try it out. And we have the classic light bulb, but it's in black, so I get the white canvas. Compass, sorry, not canvas. Compass one, so that you can basically replace that with the original one. Yeah, I will do that after I open up the case. So look at this badge. It's a CNC. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's e white. So it take a little bit of cost to get this one. Yeah, I probably will put the black one in order. And we have the plate. We have the PCB. Another plate we don't need to use. And the PCB. Okay, and the tools. Yeah, so you should be able to build everything with the tools they gave you. Yeah, technically you don't really need additional tools. Yeah, you like the black and white, but the problem is the keycaps. Yeah, if you have a good keycaps, this is definitely a good one. So let's put the bump pounds first. Yeah, so we have the tweezer, we have the screwdriver. It has almost everything. So the original one is definitely perfect fit if you have, let's say, the black and white, uh, white and black, or Olivia Duck colorway keycaps. But since I'm using uh, the keycaps of GMK Noir, it will be different. Yeah. And look at this feet. It's a white feet. How many times have you seen a white feet? Even it's on the bottom, like the black case. But because of the weight is white, we get a white feet. So the accent is pretty nice. So everything is white on black on the bottom and black on white from the top. Yeah, I think it's really a nice board for sure. Cool, after put the, the bump on, we can put the case just right here and the next thing we are going to do is with the stabilizers and the stabilizers we are going to use tonight is the Durag okay I already got everything here so let's just do yeah I'm trying to see if I can really speed up the process so everything can be done very quick So the 205G0 on stabilizers. Yeah, what color, other color do you really want to see on this keyboard? I mean like the keycaps. Because this is EY, it's very easy to match almost any keycaps you want. So the GMK Noir that I'm get, getting for this keyboard is pretty cute. Yeah, I hope my girlfriend will like it. After all, it's the favorite layout she chose and also the favorite switch she chose. Yeah, she liked the penguin a lot. Nothing cute about plastic. But when you spend $200 or $300 on that, they have to be either cute or they are gold on plastic. Otherwise, why they worth so much? And people trying to fight for $320, $325, $330 for GMK or Olivia++ light version, like they got lottery ticket. They must be cute, right? But yeah, if you really spend that much money on GMK Olivia Plus Plus light version, you probably better spend the money on GMK Olivia Dark 
and then you can pair with any black and white. You know, there's a new classic black and white keycap set. Uh, probably will go on group by later this year for the base kit of one ten. One hundred dollar, ten dollar. So you already get that light version and you don't like it? Okay, now I think you just don't like it. You'd better trade with the keycaps with something you like. For example, maybe GMK Firefly. You know what? The other day you showed me that video. You asked me what the keycaps of that. It's actually GMK Firefly. So it looks like you really love the Firefly, right? GMK Firefly for blue keycaps. For uh, it's the blue keycaps for I don't know maybe for blue board or maybe for silver board or for white board. But yeah, that's a nice keycap set for sure. Yeah, if you really want that, how about you just like go trade? I think trading the GMK Olivia Plus Plus Dark with the GMK Firefly is probably reasonable trade. Especially if you are okay with some shine, maybe people will trade with you. Since your kit will not shine at all, right? Or maybe a little bit shine. Yeah, people change their mind all the time. So just post that. Maybe you can add like 20, 40 bucks on that. Trading is something that you don't need to go with all the hassle to buy and sell. Well, technically it's just like sell and buy at the same time. Yeah, if it's like nearly zero shine, the keycap set worth much more than you paid. You probably can just get the GMK Firefly with some shine if you don't care about that. Yeah, that's what I would tell you. Just try to trade with the keycap set you like. Yeah, don't leave any keycap set in the closet. It's a waste of money, right? Okay, so how long does it normally take a set to start shining? Well, for me, I I still don't see most of my keycaps shine because I rotate my keycaps a lot. So if you keep using a set every day, I would say maybe after months. So it totally depends on if you like a set a lot. Because sometimes, like when you type on one keycap set for over a month, you probably get tired of it that you want to trade with other ones. And if you really like it, it could be your shiniest keycaps. Yeah, I think the black color will shine faster just because, I mean the darker color, just because how the lighting works. Like anything on the dark, sh shine on dark will be easier to spot than the, the one on the light ones. So if you are getting a darker side, it's probably easier to get shine. So most of my set were like the lighter on alpha or maybe white on alpha so sometimes if you don't really put them on angle you don't really see their shining so yeah if you want to get a keycap set not shine a lot just get the white alpha thanks for follow katsmu yeah i think you've been lurking a lot you haven't followed that i don't even need follower to chat right so that might be the reason yeah, if I require follow to chat, maybe you will follow me earlier. <laughs> but yeah, I don't feel like I want to enforce anything. Oh, subscribe! Sorry, I didn't check closely. 
Yes, you follow me for a while. I was like, mm, did you already follow me a lot? Thank you for the sub. It means a lot to me. You got founder's badge? Wow. <laughs> Yeah, everything, everyone is founder for me. I need you guys' support. Nice, my tracker finally moves. Yeah, I don't think I've got any subs for this month yet. I've got some subs last month, but this month been already halfway through. So I need to make better content. Oh, yeah, thank you for following a month ago. So you know what? I finally got sponsorship. I got a sponsor and the sponsor is called Lbot Keyboard Supply. Yeah, he's a new vendor. And he just like recently started on the vendor side. And they are carrying Water King, Everglide Steps, and they are running the group buy of UTD 360C and uh, UTD 356 Mini. So the one I, actually I entered group buy before I even talked to him to get sponsorship. I mean, I didn't really try to get. He's offering that, which is super nice. But yeah, I think I need to make a new command, but I will just say type on that so I will have a promo code for you guys and the website I need to make sure I type the website correctly something okay yeah so that's like my first sponsorship I'm really happy about that but in general this sponsorship is just like for both of us try to grow yeah I'm actually getting I guess like most of the items from their store just because I like all the product they are selling like I get the water king switch the trap the tracking says it should arrive today but I still don't really receive that yeah I have, I have no idea why and I have glide v2 steps so I will probably compare that with my Duroc v2 steps and see if they look or uh, even perform the same because I know for most of the time Everglide, Duroc and the LPC stabilizers were pretty much the same. It's just really like the manufacturer produced then have different brands on top of that. So you also have some Aqua King switch. Yeah, I think they are pretty nice based on the review but I need to really get them on hand and try to see if they will be even like great without loop. You heard from Brandon Frankie's video? <laughs> okay. You heard the wrong video. You need to wait for my video. Yeah. If the vendor try to work with them, Maybe they will run out of business in a month. Yeah, I'm trying to get them and the tracking says it arrives today. But maybe it's just getting late. Or maybe the courier forget about that. But anyway, yeah, you shouldn't rely on him. <laughs> so I already get this PCB Mumax socket. So basically for the whole PCB, it's 
kind of hot swap right now. Like you can easily just insert a switch and get a work. Okay, now let's put all the stabilizers onto the PCB. Yeah, I think like in general, the new switch is the most exciting one for me were uh, Yufosaki switch as the tactile switch and the water king for the linear because I heard both of them didn't re really require loop and I kind of become a little bit lazy recently that I just don't really loop my own switch and give them a try, maybe break them in yeah, I have like lower standard for my own keyboard than my client's keyboard or my girlfriend's keyboard. So if I can find such good stock keyboard uh, switches, I probably will just run them and use them. And if there's any inconsistency between the switches, I can definitely cherry pick or even loop them over. So I really need good stock switches so I can keep using without getting bad switches and I have to loop. So you need to get used to typing on this key. Which key are you typing right now? I know, I actually loop off my uh, switches right now. I just need to make sure I Yeah, the, the problem is, you know, I'm testing switches, so I don't really care about non-alpha area. So nowadays, I only looped the alpha area and test the switches for some time and swap to another switches. So usually, I just like loop half of the switch batch because half of the switch were enough for the alpha area. And I leave the mods as the switches I first put in. And you know, actually, I'm making most of my PCB hot swap as well. So I can swap them anytime, but I don't really need to do that. Especially when you try to get a lot of like switches tested, some tests out within reasonable amount of time. That actually take quite a little bit more effort than just like playing with one keyboard, right? So the polarize, yeah, I actually sold my poly panda on the breastplate build because I actually have too many holy panda build right now. Yeah, I'm selling just because I want to recoup some costs. I'm selling that as cost. So if you have some same keyboard as me next time and if you want to have my build, let me know. Maybe I will just send that build to you. Okay, I hate the washer with translucent ones. It's really hard to spot on the desk mat. Yeah, that's why the red one shows better. Yeah, recently I figured like it's really hard to watch the Mumax socket session because like I have to focus. I can I barely talk during the Mumax session, so I decided to just do Mumax socket part outside the stream, and maybe while while I'm working on that, I can listen to some podcast. And after that, I get the PCB Mumax already, so I can focus on doing the stabilizers, doing different switch tests, and also chat with you guys. That's something I find maybe most productivity. Productive, yes, that's the word. Okay, cool. So I get the stabilizers on, and usually I just need to add some loop. This time is the easiest time to add some loop.
So what are the new switches group by are you guys interested recently? I've seen some like good switch group by. But to be honest, I don't really know if they are just some weak color or they are some great effort of making some new switches. So the specific one I'm looking into is the new blood switch. I think the preview keys carrying that. Yeah, not sure how the samples were or maybe will be. But yeah, they are selling the Water King or Aqua King. That's why I follow their Discord and see they are actually making that. Yeah, speaking of which, I haven't tried the Palm Duroc Lanier. So probably will loop them up during the week, uh, weekend and try them on the rear build. Okay, so after looping the stabilizers, time to put the switches on. And we are going to use the foam. Yeah, with foam it's usually just like better, so why not? Let's put the PCB case back on. Yeah, I actually plan to use the Water King and Everglide stabilizers tonight, but I just don't have confidence on the USPS, and I actually I'm actually correct. So this is the white FR4 plate with the gold trace. I think it goes perfectly with the stabilizers and the gold wire. So it's actually a very good match. And next is the foam. We need to put the foam on the right spot. And the switches, we are going to use the penguin switch. So I loop them with the uh, Tribosis 3203, which is a very light one. Actually, I like how the switch is clipped into the piece uh, plate easily. I mean, I hate the ink black the other day I built. Yeah, they are just so hard to clip into the plate, which may be the like bad batch as well. But afterwards, it's really hard to know if they were like sit correctly or not, especially it's a solder build. But in this case, I actually can can tell if it clips in well or not. So the penguin switch are uh, basically the Ergo Clear, the JWK version of Ergo Clear. And if you don't know what Ergo Clear is, it's basically the Cherry MX Clear with lighter version of the spring. That's the original Franken style switches that people like a lot yeah because in general the ms clear stamps were better on the tactile feeling but sometimes it's a little bit too heavy on the spring so they try to just use the cherry ms clear switch and run with the bronze spring and end up with really great tactile feeling and not too heavy spring so that's called Ergo Clear. But the problem of that is cherry switches were not smooth at all. 
<laughs> yeah, in general they are not smooth. So the way to do that is actually you need to loop them or even like break them in. But now with like the penguin switch or maybe the taro boss switches or maybe some other switches, you get the G JWK smoothness and also you get the ergo clear feeling. Actually, I even see. So there are a vendor now carrying. MX Brown version of, I mean JWK version of MX Brown. Yeah, if you are a lover of MX Brown switch, which I doubt there are a lot in this hobby, but yeah, you can find the alternative now. Yeah, I think they are live on Divinity Key. Yeah, it's a vendor I buy a lot from because they were in the West Coast. So the shipping were pretty reasonable and their shipping speed is pretty fast. Yeah, chat's been quiet, huh? Okay, now it's getting harder. I'm not sure, maybe that's the one, yes. Maybe that's just the JWK recolor name. But yeah, that's like uh, the MS Brown like switches. Yeah, I think at this stage, a lot of trend go become like vintage looking. So everything you were used in the past century or uh, even last decade were kind kind of like going back. On the market just in different manufacturer and their own take that's why vint is still the goat on uh, switches of linear speaking of which i think the vendor i work with now yeah i just work with them for the first day <laughs> yeah so basically they were they were probably running some vint black cell So the switch I'm using right now is the penguin switch. So it's the ergo clear like JWK switch. So it has very light bump, uh, light bump, tactile bump. And my girlfriend is a big fan of Cherry MX Brown. So she didn't like the linear switch. She also didn't like She also didn't like, you know, Holy Panda or T1. And she only like, you know, MX Brown. And I don't want to put MX Brown on her board, especially on this fantastic keyboard. So I'm chasing good switches for the past year. And finally, the Penguin switches comes. And I tried that with my girlfriend and she liked it a lot. So yeah, if your friend only likes Cherry MX Pro, even though you don't want to, you know, piss them off, you can still say yes, try this one. Maybe it's actually a good choice. So it's interesting to see like all kinds of switches have their replacement. But still like people like the cherry sound for a lot. Like even you can replicate the feeling the sound signature of cherry were just like classic ok 
Okay, let me just do this one. Okay, this is not more convenient. So having a form go between the plate and PCB sometimes make your switch inserting job harder. But you need to pay attention to the switch pin. You don't want to bend the switch pin. And if you are working with a hot swap PCB but not Mumax socket, you also need to pay attention to the socket itself. You don't want to end up like pushing off the socket. But I think a Mumax socket is pretty stable. There's no way you will break that. So I usually just make sure the switch pin works straight. Then start pushing. But yeah, still it's harder than just insert switches before soldering because the switch solder hole is much larger. But yeah, the benefits of new Mac socket is after I do this job, the keyboard is pretty good to go. Okay, chats. Step, uh, step caps lock a regular caps lock. That's the only thing you can choose for this build. Step caps lock or regular. Yeah, if you don't say anything, I will ask. Okay, redeem treat for Oreo. Okay, so yeah, I think that's still the old one. Wait to Hazel, you also redeem that. Okay, after I finish this part, I'm going to get some treat for Oreo. Although I think she's getting a lot of treat today. Like we just gave her too much treat recently. Yeah, I should probably raise this point requirement for a lot. Regular. Yeah, probably regular. Like for cute stuff, you don't really need to have the classic step caps lock. Okay, be right back. I will give Oreo some treats and I will record the video so you will know it's a real one. Okay, do you want to see her getting treat? Yeah, I'm getting second one because Hazel also redeemed treat. Yeah, she's just getting everything in her room. But yeah, that's it. 
I hope it's enough for her night. Anyway, so we kind of finished this build on the plate and the switches. So we got the switches. Yeah, she's got it. Right? <laughs> like bad in some way. So it's the 2U1, so let's open up the case and put the gasket on. And also put the batch to match the part. So the time for me is right now 8.45. So not too late. Yeah, it could be late for a lot of people on the East Coast. But still fine for me. Okay, so let's use the screwdriver they gave for me. Yeah, in general, I feel like the screwdriver provided is very important for the build because a lot of people may not have it. Hello, hello. 1045 for you. Yeah, that's not too bad, right? Yeah, I don't know if I can finish everything before East Coast Midnight, but I can definitely finish that before your midnight. So hello, so I'm currently trying to disassemble the case. Okay, yeah. So the screws were really tight fitting on the screwdriver. So it's really hard to get out. You know what? That's why they provide the extra screws, right? Because you probably have to use the extra screw if it's stuck forever. So I just... Did I... Okay. So this is a... Uh... Half personal, but none of, none of client build. So this is a build for my girlfriend. And I bet she's watching. Because she just also redeemed the Oreo treat stuff. But yeah, so this build, okay. It has a Sync 6.5 V2. Built with FR4 plate with the platform and the switches are penguin switch so it's a light okay so this screw is not easy to get out i need to find a good way Yeah, so you know what? I try to find a good keyboard with all the things that my girlfriend will like for the past year since I started the hobby. And I don't think I really find anything that's working just because of the switches. And also the keycaps maybe. So even the keycaps I use tonight may not be the final one she will use daily. So we will see how she like it or not. But yeah, so the preference is very different between myself and her. So afterwards, I have to find out the good balance between what I like and what she likes. And what I like means I don't want to use Cherry MX Brown. And what she likes is, she likes Cherry MX Brown. So the solution right now is really the penguin switch and hope this will help me finish the build. Okay, so let's see how we can replace the batch. So this one is basically the magnetic, so you can basically pop it out and swap that in with another batch. Don't tell me the badge is too large to fit in. Okay, so there's some tolerance problem. 
I guess I need to put everything flat. Okay, so things get in, but I can see a little bit color difference. So the white batch is a little bit like a little bit more white than the case itself. And also there's a little bit tolerance problem. So it's really hard to get out now. <laughs> okay, once it's in, it's there forever, maybe. Yeah, anyway, this is not a bad batch, so I can leave it. Yeah, difference on the color and also the tolerance problem, like the batch is a bit larger than the original one. So maybe next time if I want to swap, it will be a little bit harder, but yeah, I think white on white is probably fine for most of the time. And the next thing is put the gasket on. Yeah, I wonder whether you, they use the same E-White Because they are not using the same E-White Then it will be so painful Okay, so let's paste the gasket on By using the tweezer Yeah, that's usually my way So basically the gasket slot on um, 6.5 V2 is a little bit like I was I would not say like very accurate to the gasket itself but yeah sometimes if you don't really shrink the gasket by pushing back a little bit it might be covered a little bit too much yeah how to say that yeah, you don't want to stretch the gasket if you stretch the gasket too much, it might end up like paste onto. Okay. Hello, you come from YouTube. Thank you for the support. Yeah, coming here to see my work on this 6.5 V2. Okay. So what, what's your favorite build so far on my YouTube channel? I know I have plenty builds recently, but do you have a favorite? So let's do the build command. So this is the one I'm building tonight. And I should mention this is for my girlfriend. So it's pretty unique to me. Like after all this time in the hobby, I finally get one that I feel like I'm proud to make for her and also she will like it. Yeah, if you ever consider building a keyboard for your girlfriend or your boyfriend, you can always come to my channel and chat with me. Yeah, and I think like at first I want to go with the surprise side. <laughs> the Boba U4, U4T, yeah. I think Boba U4T were pretty nice tactile switch. That I find really good, especially stock form. Like you don't really need to loop because last time I loop on them. I don't really know which are the looped ones or which are the ones I haven't looped yet. 
I mean, that's how well they are stuck for. So I would definitely say like try to loop one or two on yourself and do a blind test. Like basically get get some loops, get some unlooped, and try to see if you can distinguish between loops or not. If you cannot, maybe not worth much more effort to loop them. Vega with Alpaca on FR4. You know what? That's my favorite, my personal favorite. The Vega with Alpaca switches on FR4 plate. Yeah, that's my personal favorite of all time. Yeah, since then I start doing all the Alpaca on FR4. And to be honest, I don't think they achieve the level of Vega. Yeah, that's why like my top choice of linear switches nowadays are still Apaka and Tactile become the U40. And I will see if the favorite linear switch will change after I try some Water King soon-ish. Maybe they will change. Yeah, definitely cannot go wrong with Vega. And I also personally have two polarized right now I really like the clean look and also the excellent typing feeling especially the sound yeah I think the Vega and the polarized sound pretty much like the same or even very close just because one is the 60% and the other is 65% so and that's the only word I will say like if you need me to buy one from our market they are the one that worth the money just because of their group group buy price is so affordable i mean not really affordable but yes i have two so one of it is the gray hhkb that i bought from aftermarket and to be honest it's not really buying from aftermarket it's like the trading from my vega because i have one vega in group buy so i'm fine trading one but last week or maybe the week before i actually get into the polarized extra cell you know, that one was pretty much the hardest one of all time. I mean, not harder than like Unicorn because you may not end up getting Unicorn if you live in US because of the payment issue. But otherwise, I think the Polarize is pretty hard. Like it's all hyped up. It's announced advanced this time and it's limited number so i'm i'm glad i get that yeah everyone feels bad about not joining vega yeah i hope they will have tons of extras even they don't have tons of extras you know there are uh, there were maybe five thousand orders or five thousand keyboards sold in the group buy so there must be some people who don't really need that keyboard, want to sell, and they find there are so many keyboards on sale, they probably won't sell at $700 range. So hopefully the 5000 Vega will be able to satisfy some need of the market. But yeah, if you can get from extra sale, that would be good. And if you cannot wait, I would say like try this 6.5 Vega, uh, 6.5 6 V2 extra if that goes online anytime soon. Yeah, I figured this keyboard is pretty good as well. But yeah, the next keyboard I find 
closer to Vega or Polarize is the Voice 65. Although I don't really like the aesthetic of that, but from the typing sound, it's pretty close. And the typing feeling. Yeah, if you get a PC plate and not using a standoff or the foam, it's pretty flex. That's why any people want to join the Jelly Epoch next week? So the Jelly Epoch is the new 75% keyboard from the studio who made the Voice 65. You can now wait for Vega, yes. I mean you are the lucky one now. See how many people who regret not joining Vega and who got you the Vega. And I bet in another month or two, there will be so many people who regret not joining the Striker V2, the GMK Striker R2. Me too. I don't really like 75. And all I got right now is 75% is the E7 V2 prototype. The exclusive kindly give to me for all kinds of testing. Yeah, if you have you don't have me, I know, all of the good keyboards will be just out there and you have to spend double the price on that later time. Yeah, so basically I'm providing some like personal service if you want to work with me on your keyboard in the future, like not likely you need to get it now, but you want to get on the future. I can definitely provide you some guidance and even, I won't say financial aid, but it's just like you can provide me 20% thumb and I can get in the group buy. Then later when you, uh, when the group buy item ships, I will build that for you. And I will probably charge like 5 to 10%, depends on how much the money or maybe how long the wait time is but yeah I kind of did that for Miss Frosty because I trust him and he trusts me about that okay so after we get we need to flip and get the screw in Yeah, you know like the, all the keyboard I get for you or choose for you were just the best keyboard I would say. I mean best keyboard for the price. Like you cannot get a keycard with 500 bucks nowadays. But you can get a Polarize with 500 bucks and I will say that's a pretty legit deal. Like it's hard to like even have a $500 keyboard that's better than Polarize that you don't need to wait so I'm always an advocate and after you play with that you don't like it or maybe you are tired of your budget you want to get next keyboard you can always sell and around the same time uh, around the same bucks F you do you like your E7 V2? yes absolutely there's no doubt I like that keyboard a lot so the only thing I would recommend, uh, like exclusive, uh, exclusive to change, is not really the keyboard internals. It's about assembly process, especially the mute pad. But from the typing feeling, typing sound, they are pretty nice. Okay, I think I need to 
get rid of these screws so it don't end up like stuck in my fuse. Okay, so there is a bad screws that feels like I cannot use the stock screwdriver to take it out and even get in so potentially not use that at all oh you got founder's batch nice I, I need to take a look on what that founder's batch look like oh yeah I see that yes yeah, support me early you get founder's batch I have no idea that's a thing. Thank you guys. But after all, I think the E7 V2, I also get in an E white version of that. And I will see if I can get the black and the white bottom swap out. But I think after I get in this sink, I kind of dig into uh, the contrast of black and white separately okay so this keyboard okay so the fan starts yeah I will probably like turn it off when I do the typing test but this is the bottom of the case and this is the top of the case and we're going to test the switches for quick so that we don't end up doing let me check if I my keyboard connects Okay, looks at this batch. It definitely looks much better in real life. But yeah, this is a pretty nice batch lighting effect. And yeah, this is probably closer to the real life. Okay, let's put the keycaps on. So the keycaps we are using today is the GMK Noi. Let's test the spacebar first. Okay. Yeah, the badge is so cool that it light up to make the whole board very unique, right? Definitely something that's very special for this board. And if you are using it at night, you can use it as a decoration. Okay, let me see if I can do some noise cancellation. Oh, did I turn on the noise cancellation all the time? That you probably hear my voice like underwater sometime? I don't even know. I turned on that. Yeah, I hope the sound were not too bad. Okay, it's always on, yeah. I should not turn on all the time. Yeah, I just forget to turn it off last time. Okay, so if music is so bad, I mean it's not end of the world, but... Yeah, I don't know, like it should tell me. Uh, 
I hope it's not affecting that a lot. But yeah, the problem on uh, my garage is that I have to let the fan open because of otherwise my roommate and my girlfriend will probably too cold to die. Okay. Yeah, I think the lighting were pretty harsh on this keyboard right now. Like you cannot really see the keycaps very well. But yeah, who cares right now? Okay, it's important to know this is the... Huh. I don't I don't realize like I have only two keys here. <laughs> I totally not realize that. Yeah, so right now the music stuff is that I actually have the fan. So if let's say I I turn off the filter, I turn off the noise cancellation, this is what you will hear. Is that much better or much worse regarding Yeah, so this is basically the real thing that you hear right now <laughs> yeah this is definitely worse yeah I would say like noise cancellation on this situation is necessary and since I'm going to have the sound test soon maybe I can just close the music right I don't really need the music right now since I'm typing test soon Okay, five, three, four. Yeah, this is definitely a cute keycap set that would probably match like what your girlfriend will like or my girlfriend will like. But it also costs a lot if you really consider the aftermarket price. So don't chase this blindly. You want to make sure you like it, or your girlfriend like it, or your boyfriend like it, whatever. So regular caps lock. Okay, now the other two keys. to have light up to show that yeah let me turn off the chat box so this is the badge and the artisan is from uh, CYSM so it's called olive so it's actually pretty cute, right? Yeah, she get a lot. <laughs> yeah, so that's the olive for unicorn. Yeah, I don't get a unicorn, but I win a raffle for this artisan. 
and the the bottom. Yeah, I think the black with white accent is pretty neat. And this is the front looking. You can sneak peek on the bottom and also the back. And also the detail of the back. So you can see this is a sync light bulb. Yeah, so if you remember uh, the other batch, it's basically the sync light bulb's shape on the back. Yeah, it's a little bit mixed match. But yeah, this is pretty much the keyboard we have tonight. And next up is the typing pass. And let me see if I can kind of uh, turn off the fan just for a second. Yeah, I think people will understand me. I, I'm turning off just for a second. Technically, it's probably longer than a second. Hopefully, yeah, I will turn turn it back on later. So let's switch to the other. Yeah, I think the camera on this side picking up this one much better. So let's try to use the better focus here. Yeah, so this is the keycaps in a better lighting. I mean, not better lighting, but better camera. Yeah, it's very icy. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, but it's also icy based on like what my girlfriend described this like white version on the E white. The E white board seems like a little bit warm compared to this white keycaps because it's a WS2 on the GMK spectrum. So let's get closer. Yeah, you can definitely see a little bit like color difference on the bench. Okay, so let's do the sound test. Yeah, bear with the background noise a little bit. Yes, WS2 is a little bit cool blue-ish. Yes, that's right. Okay. So yeah, let's do proper sound test. Then I can turn back the fan. Oh. Yeah, basically this is the Sync 6.5 V2 to your version Stomp Trooper colorway. And I built this way is um, Penguin Switches loop with Tribosis 3203. And I had the plate form and also the case form. And the keycap set is the GMK Noir. And let's do some test sound. Yeah, I like the typing feeling like a lot. And let's do uh, the mod sound.
Hello, anyone back? <laughs> yeah, I think that's very typical. Yeah, it's not really crash. <laughs> the thing is like every time I try to go through all the mods, it's basically go from, you know, like, <laughs> it basically go from maybe the tab key to some key to the space and to enter. I, I don't know, maybe it's not sticky key, but it kind of like trigger the end stream part. But yeah, let's just make sure I can do the test without connecting to the keyboard. Uh, so let's go back to the mod sound. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is probably just everything that I, I know how to build a good keyboard and finally build my girlfriend a great keyboard. <laughs> so this is pretty neat board after all. And I need to configure good lighting for her as well. So right now this is not something very good. I don't know, maybe you should try, I mean, she should try herself. There's so many lighting options. Yeah, it's very traditional like RGB lighting that like you know how you can get them. But yeah, if you are trying to get such keyboard. <laughs> Best BF, I hope so. But yeah, I, I will keep looking for good keyboard, good keycap sets, good switches that I can test on this one and you know, I make this keyboard uh, hot swap with new Mac socket. So if she didn't like that, I mean the switch, I can keep doing different ones. Yeah, I did fast because I make the new Mac sockets already. <laughs> I think that take me like maybe an hour. So in total, it's around like one, I don't know, two hours, some sometime like that. So yeah, I think Mumex socket, I definitely mastered that much better now. Yeah, the first time I probably take like three hours, but now I can do everything under one hour. So to end the stream, one more typing test. Why not, right? Yeah, you know what? This keyboard, yeah, I originally when I get Vega and I feel like, okay, I probably will sell this after I get this keyboard. But now after I type on that, I feel like this is keyboard I will keep. Yeah, so that's my kind of like one sentence for the review on this one. Yeah, especially like it's nice looking, very unique, right? You probably won't find another board that looks similar to this one. And also it's minimalist looking, so it's not very popping. Um putting everything else like knob or uh, maybe like badge on uh, every place. So this is a like nice lighting of badge. Yeah. Like your holy panda on your polarized. Yeah, I think this is a tactile switch, but not very tactile and sounds good. 
but not really like sharp tactile bump. So perfect for my girlfriend. Yeah, sorry about uh, like the time I kind of end stream accidentally, but yeah, thank you for coming back and watch again for the mouse sound and typing sound again. Yeah, hope you enjoy your night. And this is a good keyboard that I will recommend if you want to get a good 65%, try to get from extra. Night night.